back with our guest, John Susi of the Tempo News. Uh, next thing I want to ask you about is there was some controversy about the uh, Janie, Janie Poe housing uh, situation where they had hired illegal aliens where it was discovered. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, uh, I was, we were at Tempo asked about a situation over there. What was supposed to be happening, according to the contract, they were supposed to hire people within that, that zip code, which is Newtown. Uh, so they were asked, they requested information from the people that were running the program out of New Jersey, and they weren't getting any information back. So uh, we took a ride over there. We went into the facility and looked at the cars there were, and there was cars from Kansas, Nebraska, and there were not, not from Sarasota County. Hmm. Uh, they threw us off the off the ground. So uh, as I was walking off the grounds, I walked around Central Avenue. And it was about 5:30 in the afternoon. Uh, one of the straw bosses uh, saw me walking and come running down towards the uh, site, and uh, about 25 Hispanic workers, and there were about 15 of them all of a sudden were rushed off, off the site. Uh, we tried to follow them in, in, a, in a vehicle, and we were cut off. Uh, and so we assumed that something might be wrong with some of the situation while they were trying to hide them. One thing led to another, and we just assumed that probably what was happening, that there were illegal aliens being hired by them. They never denied it. Matter of fact, a while back uh, afterwards, they, they agreed that they were hiring illegal aliens at the place. And... Uh, and, and, and they received federal money? Federal money. And federal money, they were and not, in the economic situation existing in Sarasota were dropped. They not only were hiring people from, from the community, not even from Sarasota, they were bringing people into the program. And, wow. uh, but the, the thing about it, it, it's fascinating, this whole public housing thing with Hope Six grants and, 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 and these things that... that it, it, it's it's a it's a uh, a boondoggle basically. Billions of dollars are being spent on these things, and people are being moved out, and and there's r huge problems with it. You know, the, the program that this this company that's doing the work over at Janie Poe, we brought some questions up about when they first came in here, and people sort of uh, didn't follow through on again the Sarasota Tribune. But the company again is 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 uh, Michael's Development. It's a multi-million dollar corporation. They're involved with Clark Construction, which is a multi-million dollar corporation, doing these projects all over the country, making big profits from these situations, contributing to Republican Democratic leaders. I'm talking about not local leaders, but people on the national level getting these contracts. They come into a place like Sarasota and they think they're going to run over people. But people like Fred Atkins and and Barbara Langston and Mary Mack and those people up in Newtown. We're going to tell them, well, this is not other places. And so what happens now, that they're, they're starting to make some changes up there. They've got a committee going, and things are starting to work out there, up there, and they're starting to hire the locals. So they get federal money to come in and, and fix up or build new housing for people in Sarasota. Not only do they not hire people in Sarasota to do the work, they're hiring illegal aliens. Exactly. Unbelievable. Uh, exactly. And they, they, they admitted it, that they were doing it. And then... The, it's, it's, it's uh, incredible, some of the things that are current with it. Next thing I want to ask about, we got one minute before our final yeah. uh, thing that we're going to talk about, but there, there, there's a $9 million grant out there for mentally disabled uh, children in Sarasota County that uh, my understanding is there's been some problems with administering it. What can you tell us about Well, that? there was, uh, again, uh, something similar to what Nelson's talking about. This is a $9 million program for, for youngsters, well, from infants to nine years old. That, that is, Sarasota was picked as one of the six cities in the country that, that seemed to be the appropriate place to place it. Now, it's been in existence, I think, uh, the last three years, and half of the money is gone, and they've only serviced 200 people. Uh, there's another discriminating case that's possible that one of the individuals that was there that was brought in in order to make sure that, that the African American community and the Hispanic community were being served brought some prop questions about what's happening. Next thing you know, he was fired. This is after getting excellent recommendations from the federal agency that came in and monitored his program. So now there was a, uh, we'll see what happens to Sarasota Health Tribune. Sarasota Health Tribune had a front page article last week. And they're, and they're, I talked to the reporter and she said she's moving forward on it and is going to follow through on it. We'll see what happens now. Let's hope they do. We'll All keep right. the heat on them. Okay, now it's time for everybody's favorite segment, the Weasel of the Week. Well, this is a special week with our special guest, uh, John Susi, who's also in the media. And so we have asked him if he would be willing to do our Weasel of the Week segment this week. And he has selected a Weasel of the Week. And John, John why don't you tell us who the Weasel is and why? Oh, it's County Commissioner John Thaxton. Uh, one of the reasons why is that regardless of the controversy over the Red Sox and the Baltimore Oilers coming in, it's that John was, was definitely against it big time. 
but you know, I don't, I don't think he really understands the idea of baseball. What his biggest interest is is the Polo Ranch up there, Lakewood Ranch. Also, you know, he was a big supporter of two hundred fifty million dollars for environmental sensitive land for some swamp land in Mayaka, but yet he wasn't interested in bringing in something that, that's a baseball, which is for youth baseball and things of this sort. So it seems to me what John is only interested in is the Polo Ranch up in Lakewood Ranch the polo fields, and also some swamp land in Mayaka for $250 million, and we're having all these problems with, with, with some of the finances in here. So I just think that, that John is, is my candidate for this week for the weasel of the month, or a week, or year, a or whatever. Month, month and year. <laughs> and year. <laughs> all right. John, we're definitely going to have you back. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. And Appreciate that's, it. That's, that's another Cloud 941. We'll see you next week.